I mean, they call him the European Steph Curry. I mean, there's only one Steph. My name is Yamada, I'm from Israel, from Bedagan. I'm playing for Apoel Tel Aviv. I'm gonna help put us on a map. Just watch. How many young players do you know spend 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. in the army, get a quick bite to eat, and then walk to practice? That's Yamada. Yam has a swagger in his game, he has flashy moves. He has the handles, the, he can shoot the ball, he can step back. I don't want to call him a kid, but you watch the kid on the court and he just got it. I think there is no pressure. What kids in my age do tell me, that's pressure. The goal is the NBA. This young man is going to the NBA, that's the path he's paving, that's where his mind is at, and that's what we're working towards. My name is Yamadar, I'm from Israel, from Bedagan. I'm playing for Apoel Tel Aviv, basketball. I started playing at, uh, I was three years old. I have a brother, he's three years bigger than me, so I just started playing after him. I seriously want to, want to be the best, the best version of myself and work like I'm the second and play like I'm the first to keep challenging myself as a player on and off the court to get better mentally, to get better physically. That's it. Good. Good. I mean, they call him the European Steph Curry. I mean, there's only one Steph. So for them to see this young man move in the basketball court and call him Steph Curry, it's just, there's nothing else like it. Young reminds me a little bit of Kyrie Irving. Because he has the handles and stuff, and he has the game vision. Israel is like seven hours ahead, so you need to wake up at like 3 a.m. to watch Kyrie play. So I wake up at 3 to watch him play, to watch Damian Lillard, to watch Trey Young, those kind of players that I like the most. Yeah, can, can you tell us where you just came from? I just came from the army. Yeah, I just... What, what time did you have to get there this morning? To get to the army? Yeah. It's 7. 7. Yeah, you wake up at 6. Wake up at 6. But now just to start, I believe it will be much better in the future, but now, now it's a little bit complicated. Here in Israel, you have to serve three years in the army. I think, I think in our country, that's, that's really beautiful that everyone, it doesn't matter who you are, you need to serve for, for the army, for the, for the country, for the nationality, to, to help and and give and, and give back and give back and if and if I need to give back four hours a day so that's what I do I think it's for our country it's important it seems like you, you can handle a lot of pressure for an 18 year like like you had the ball at the end of the quarter I really don't look at at those kind of minutes at, like, like, as a pressure because uh, I think there is no pressure the what, what kids in my age do does in the army that's pressure when a boy go go through your head, that, that's real pressure. What I'm doing to play basketball, what I love, I don't think it's really pressure. So when working on a basketball player, it's very important for me, uh, particularly with Yam at the stage of his career that he's at, to stay focused. You know, who is Yam as a basketball player? So first and foremost, his on the ball defense is second to none. I think he's one of the best defensive point guards in the world, I'll say. So making sure he's keeping that tenacity mentality on defense and keeping him hungry. I want to program him that when he gets in the basketball court, he's just programmed to just kill what's in front of him. And that's both offensively and defensively. His calmness, whether it be at the end of game or in pressure situations, leadership skills, uh, his playmaking ability, but he just has instincts that the highest level athletes in the world have. I can say that winning the FIBA championship was the biggest moment in my early career. That was amazing to, to be around here and, and get that experience with, with all of these guys. 
I can't say I was surprised. It was almost like his moment had arrived. We knew that he would make a name for himself on the world stage. For him to see him realize his dream uh, on the world stage at the FIBA U20 Championship was really, really cool for him. I'm too young for, to talk about what I did. I need to, to, show, to show what I can do right now and to, to show people that, I, that I'm still able to play this, those levels and, and to compete on the highest level. So you guys will notice that we switched out the ball from a European ball to an NBA ball. I got him this present a few months ago. His goal is the NBA. Where he's going is the NBA. So I thought it was only appropriate to start training with the NBA basketball. This is uh, his first official NBA ball. What motivates me to, to get up and walk every day is the big dream to, to go and play the highest level. I'm trying to work every day and, and be better than I was yesterday. I see I'm a guard in five years. And NBA, actually, NBA. The goal is the NBA. This young man is going to the NBA, that's the path he's paving, that's where his mind is at, and that's what we're working towards. Hey, go ahead, it's what you live for. Live for. Hey, go ahead, it's what you live for.